Thanks, Jeff. And I am relatively new to the area, but I can already tell that it has a ton to offer, including some great places to go fishing. So I tried out some fly fishing. Snake River Outfitters originated in 2000. And uh, since that time, we've blossomed. And uh, I guide for South Fork Lodge, uh, Natural Retreats, uh, which is just out of Swan Valley. And so, you know, guiding, teaching people how to fly cast, they all go together. And they're all fun for me. Davison has an impressive instructing background and can teach people how to fish multiple ways. I have a casting academy, a casting school, where I provide instruction for people to learn to cast better, either single hand or two hand casting. So I've got certification for uh, two handed casting instruction through the International Federation of Fly Fishers. So I have a master certification for single hand. I also have a two hand certification. So what that does is it prepares me to instruct uh, you in almost any fly fishing, fly casting technique. There are also multiple species of fish you can find in the river. We have rainbow trout, uh, then we have brown trout, and also the native Yellowstone cutthroats. And um, besides that, we have suckers and also whitefish. And those are the main species that you're going to run into on the South Fork between, I'll say, Manan, Idaho Falls, and Palisades Reservoir. It's one of the best times to be on the river fly fishing, and a big reason for that are the bugs. Typically, the South Fork blossoms with the hatching of these aquatic insects, so it's a smorgasbord for the trout. It's dinner time, and uh, prime rib is on the table. So we have the bugs, we have the fishing gear, now all we need are the fish. And with three to 5,000 fish per mile along the Snake River, it should be easy, right? Well, I was wrong. I'm a guide, not a god, okay? <laughs> but I decided to give it a try anyways. All right. <laughs> that happens all the time. Get used to it. I don't know how much finesse I have. <laughs> take him, take him. Oh. I am so slow at <laughs> So it wasn't pretty, but eventually I was able to reel one in. Cool. All right, him bring him in. Just lift the rod tip this way, lift towards me, towards me. Bring it over here, go back. All right. Woo! Your I first whitefish. <laughs> Whoa. Your first whitefish. Oh, there you go. Maybe you need to kiss fish. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Julia, this is your first fly caught fish. Congratulations. Thanks. He's a lively one. Caught it on a nymph. This Whoa. Girl caught a fish. Whoa. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> she's still she's still catching your fish. So, Jeff, I've been here for about two weeks, and I've already caught two fish. Tell me again how long it took you to catch your first fish. Uh, it took me about three years to catch the first one, Julie. I've been here for four, and uh, I've caught three. So, beginner's luck.